hello guys welcome to my nigerian farm so in my last video i showed you guys the ventures i have on the farm and these adventures i want it's like a business plan i want to carry these ventures forward and i hope it will be profitable for me in what i do in the farm um today i want to show you a subset of that ventures basically my pigree you see um this is the first time i'm doing pigree due to a uh, traditional reason i'm not really into the consumption of pork uh, it, it's not that there's anything wrong with pork it's just that I, I grew up in a tradition where it is not the staple food but uh, for economic reason i'm going to apply it in the farm the good news is that when i bought this farm it came with a pig pen this is the pig pen and um, this is the roof of the pig pen um, it's it's not um there's no roof in it basically so before i go fully into any project i like to do what i call a proof of concept i try to test it for myself financially if this will basically work and for me to do that i'll have to make sure i don't spend a lot of money initially because agriculture is something that, if care is not taken, you're going to spend a lot of money, really, to be honest with you. And especially in infrastructure. The money you spend in infrastructure, you're not getting it back if that venture does not work. I've seen a lot of people build pens for broilers, for layers, only to try to sell them for scrap. And people will price them for cheap. I don't want to be like that. This is the structure that came with the land we bought. Uh, it has changed significantly from now. But as you can see, the pig pens are not even plastered. There are no doors. And there's no roof. So, this is the pig pen that came with the land we bought. And um, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done here. But what I do for me, and I don't like spending money unnecessarily. Because if you spend, I know there's that desire to beautify your farm, make it look amazing so that when your friends come, they, you know, they kind of respect you for it and all this stuff. I, I think some farmers have that desire, but I don't. What I do is I look for the cheapest way to develop that property. The cheapest way to develop the property. Because... I, it's not the property that gives me money. It's the animals that are in there. So I first of all put in the animals and then try to prove the concept. Try to make sure that this business I want to do works. If it works, then I keep on, as I make more money, I develop the property more and we keep going. So this is what we have here. As you can see, there's no roof in this section of it. But instead of going to put in zinc here or aluminium, I decided to have this roof and put thatched roof here as you can see this is thatched roof it's called it costs way cheaper than the zinc and aluminium it doesn't last that long but uh it will suffice the animal won't ask does not ask you whether you you have to go and put them in a five-star hotel before they begin to reproduce no the this thatched roof is good enough so this thatched roof will last for about maybe two years and that depending on the quality of work that is done. Unfortunately, now in Lagos, it's hard to get this kind of traditional local craftsmanship that will make these ones last for as long as you ask any of the type you see in the villages. But two years is good enough for me. In two years, I will know whether this pig business, this uh, pigry, is the kind of business I want to continue or not. If it's something I want to continue, these roofs will be changed and everything here will be updated to accommodate the enlarging pig, uh, pigry and the rest of them. So this is basically what I do. The advice here is, instead of going to spend money to put in roof, put in a lot of infrastructure initially, it might be better to go with something that works. You know, it doesn't, something that works does not have to be something that is very expensive. It nothing small can work and can equally stand. I've also talked about how 
I raised my chickens on bare floor, on bare ground. No cement, nothing. And they survive, they do well. They, they don't die in those. So these are the, the pigs here. Right now, there's no roof there. We're still trying to put all this roof. And they are there. I just use them, palm, palm leaves to cover some of them. And that provides shade for them in this dry season. The objective is to get them reproducing, get, get the proof of concept of the business running. Then I can spend more money in thinking of the infrastructure. Because some infrastructure is very expensive. And in Nigeria, most for most of the cases, you don't have loans that will support your agriculture, especially here in southern Nigeria. You don't have loans available for you to build these things. So it's all out of pocket. And if you go and throw money and build a very beautiful five-star hotel for your pigry, and if it doesn't work, you abandon those things and people will scavenge them. This happened to my neighbor who built a very amazing, theoretically it's an amazing place to raise uh, cockerels. But he didn't raise anything there and now people are scavenging the building. In fact, every day we keep on seeing people break into it to steal one thing or the other. Anyway, that's what I have to, to show you guys today. I hope my piggy business work. In that, my last video, when I, I showed you the ventures in my farm, all those ventures, they say jack of trade, of all trade is a master of none. All those ventures, there are farms that are doing just one of them, and it's working. My intention is to move with all of them. Hopefully, that mixed farming will help me zero waste in the farm, will help me be sustainable in that I'll be able to recycle materials that I use and also be profitable in the long run. That is my objective and you guys can hold me accountable to that in the next three to five years. All right, thanks for stopping by guys and uh, I appreciate those who have subscribed. My new subscribers, thank you very much. It shows that you guys appreciate what I do. You guys don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like this video. When you like it, YouTube shows it to other people and hopefully they will benefit from it as well. See you next time and have a great day.